Hello, everybody. Welcome to the We Collect Wrestling's Master of the WWE Universe Wave 1 Review. Got a hold of one of each. You actually have a couple of sets, but this is the one that I am reviewing. So let me get us set up. How's everybody doing? Are you guys ready for Cancel Mania? That's right, it's in the headline and everything. Not sure what's going on this year. I know they'll probably postpone it at the worst because Vince will never cancel WrestleMania. But WrestleMania for April, probably going to get canceled. Hope not, but anybody that's smart is most likely not going to go. And if you've seen the empty arena SmackDown, it's not beautiful. So if you want to see some beautiful stuff, let's start with this. Right here is Ultimate Warrior. Looking really nice. So, he's wearing his green and yellow bands. He's got the green and black on his face. Yellow strap. The rest of him is looking to be orange with pink warrior masks on him. Green boots with white warrior mask on him so he's fully warriored out he's extremely warriored out he comes with this right here which is a spear all right so the back oh boy Woo. the back give you an idea of all four of them each one on the back lets you know exactly what motions they have just like the other ones, I believe the uh, thing going across his chest can be removed. As you see, he has the warrior on his actual chest, a little tattoo or something. So that's painted on. Second one we have here, Finn Balor, Masters of the WWE Universe, MOTU, if you're searching out for these. Finn Balor on the back. Looks like he has a removable top. And then he has the whip action. So, this right here is the removable top. Looks like he comes fully decked out in face paint. He's got the red power arms or whatever, the bracelets. You see underneath here. He's got the red going here, red pants, black boots. Every single one comes with a little comic book. Not every single one comes with a weapon, but it looks like his, actually I think they do all come with weapons, but yeah, his weapon is actually back there if you can see it. As always, these are not unopenings as I will pass these on to people that are searching for these. Masters of the Universe thing. Looks like he comes with the claws, if you can see them back there. Same thing, he's got a comic book. These are the claws in action. Swings around what looks like some nunchucks or whatever those are. Yeah, those are nunchucks for sure. They got the chains on them. But yeah, he's decked out in the face paint. So it's the crow sting. I think the shirt is permanent. It looks painted on, so he doesn't have anything removable. Last one for the set, minus the play set in the ring, which I don't have. If I get a hold of them, put them on a video. If not, it's okay. The play set itself has become harder to find. Triple H, last one. Skull King, this actually is removable. I've seen people take it off and show them off just by himself. Looks like he's got the sledgehammer. I can get you a good view right there. Right behind him. It's all wrapped up in uh, plastic. All, some of these weapons are wrapped up. So there he is. Removable cap. Swinging action of the sledgehammer. Again, that's the four that are out in wave one. Wave two is out right now. You can get them with Rey Mysterio, John Cena. Roman Reigns, 
And the last one is Macho Man Randy Savage. So this again is our We Collect Wrestling review of the MOTU Wave 1 or Masters of the Universe. If you are a big fan of Mortal Kombat or a fan of Spawn, check out Legends Closet as I am currently going to make a video of him next. So there it is, Spawn Mortal Kombat. He is getting hard to find, becoming more and more expensive. Got him out. So anybody looking for stuff like that, always look out for Makari, Facebook, because those are the two best places right now to get deals. So thank you again for checking it out. I hope you all have a rest of your... I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and don't forget to hashtag that cancel mania.